Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install, you know, pretty much any aftermarket wheel. I got this from eBay. It's Ventilant, something like that. Ventilant. Well, still, I'm going to show you, you know, on uh, the computer, you know, like what to get it from. If you decide to go with these guys. I only went with these guys, you know, because of the stitching and because it's real, real sweet. Uh, so pretty much the first, it's, it's simple. The first thing I got to do is you just got to take out your, your stock wheel. Let me see where I put the tool. Look, I'm using a, a 316 drill bit. I stick it through the back. There's a hole right here. Okay, so once you put your drill bit in, don't push it all the way out because then this one's not gonna come off. So look, just you just press it down. You see, you see how that popped out? Look, this is how I think I did. Just like that. Just like that. Now turn your car. Just to get the other part. Take this one in. Come on, bro. Shit, need more experience with this thing. I pass a little bit more. So, look. I just push this one back in and it's the same way. You see how it pops down? Look. Man, I hope you was able to see that on the video. Once you have this out. Ah! Yeah, that sound gay, but don't do that shit. I mean, uh, this one right here. One Small screwdriver. Just to get this one off. No, not really. See? Yes. This connects like that. Push your right back. You don't want this shit, you know, to blow your face. No. Turn the wheel. And now this bolt right here is gonna be exposed. I think it's like a 10, let, let, let me go and get it. And then, you know, we, we take it out. It's really easy. Possible. So the one that we need is an M12. You can't really see cause this thing, you know, has some uh, rust in it. So it's M12. Make sure you line it up first. You gotta line the car, that way you don't lose, you know, like how your wheel goes. That's lined up right there. Yep. Stand that way. Turn it off. No, it's too much. But it's just to take the the nut though, uh, this little bolt. You shouldn't take that much pressure, you know, to get it out. Okay, once you loosen it, pull your car back on. Just follow these cables, you know. Just to be out. It's a little ground. Oh, uh, that's attached to the wheel. You see? 
comes out with pliers. Okay, actually, you can pop it up. Just remove this out the way. So you got one right here. I'm gonna just get some pliers or a little screwdriver just to pop this two off. Okay, uh, you you no longer gonna use your your horn. So in another video, you know I'm gonna explain you you know like how to make your horn work. We gotta rewire the whole thing. Or I mean you can do it with this, but right now I have my horn is not working, so this one right here just looks bulky. So look, whether you wanna use it or not, you can use the plugs. You can go without the plugs. My horn is not working, so I can't really do a video, you know, about the, the horn. That will be next time. So right here is easy to, to follow. You got two holes for this. Don't get rid of this. And this spacer right here is so you can still have your, your horn connected. Uh, look at this thing. It goes in. Just push it in like this. Get your little bolt back. Put it in there. Now. Just make sure that your wheels are aligned, bro, because if they're not, then your wheels always want to go look like, you know, like it's more to the left, more to the right. If you don't mind, you can do it. Now this thing right here just adapts to this one. Just like that. There's no other way. Once you have it, uh, they should say, you know, bolts and wires, you know, to redo your horn and stuff. I still don't know, you know, what type of sound I want for my horn. I <laughs> saw so one on Instagram. Like, what are you doing, stupid? <laughs> Look, the, the bolts. Put one bolt right here. Uh, if it doesn't go straight in, then uh, don't twist them more. Just they gotta go in like super, super sweet, you know. Man, hopefully this is the right set of bolts for this thing. Okay, look, so this is pretty simple. If, if in case that you get the same way as me, the little uh, cap, you know, that goes in the middle. Okay, first you wanna line the bolts like this and you wanna tie the, uh, the bolt. That way your wheel is gonna be straight. Then you place this thing in here and you start tying all the bolts. Remember, it's an M12 for the bolt, you know, that comes out of here, out of the wheel. And this one, you just put it in the light. One by one, all the way in. And then you can start tightening these bolts. I start like in like cross like one here one here then you gotta do all the other ones I just gonna finish this one and I show you know how exactly it looks Pause it. On 
So that's pretty much you know how it looks. Let's do that cleaning. If you see that the middle part moves, the only thing that you gotta do is just like like hit it and it will come back you know to the center. Now just real quick for you guys that didn't understood this or don't understand how to do this. You works like this, so pretty much you're gonna turn the kit on, position it like this. And these are the holes that you wanna see. Once you put this in here, look, put the camera like this so they can see how it pops. You see, it's not, it's not, even, it's not out. Once you put this in, and you push it like this, you see, downwards, it pops this out. You don't have to do it all the way. Same with this, downwards, and it takes it out. You get your back out. If you want to put your back out, you got to do the same thing. You got to put the screw in here just to make it, or you got to hit this. I don't recommend it. Like that. And like that. Once more. So you guys see it. The wheel supposed to be positioned like that. You stick this in right here. And then downwards look or yeah look, look. it's not working anymore pretty much just like pushing and it comes out look that's pretty much what you're moving sticking this in and you're moving this piece see this piece right here that's what you're doing like a downwards thing so that thing can move and that way you know you will release the little pin that's there it comes out so it's in like this and you will pull this up downwards i mean this has to go down look let's put it like that see my hand goes up but this goes down so i hope you will be able to understand this because this is going to be the most important part if you don't do this you're never gonna be able to put the wheel. It's easy. Don't get you know like. Plus the wheel is freaking heavy. Like it's super super heavy. And this wheel is super light. So that's pretty much it for this video. Like next time we just wanna show you how to put a quick release. I didn't order it this time because it wasn't my budget. So next time I do the quick release from NRG and the lock. That's pretty much uh, it for this video. I hope you liked the video. And I'll see you on the next time. See you on the next video. Uh, some of the things that you gotta uh, uh, know is like, I mean, in case that you wanna get the same wheel, uh, that's the one that I got. It's called Vilante Legera. So the hub is from NRG. That was 109 and the wheel was $226 with shipping. So you can find this on the internet, you know. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be eBay. It can be an RG page or the page of these guys. Look. That wheel looks good.